Wireless infrastructure equipment like base stations are inherently low power and low cost platforms and can take advantage of the advanced features of the ECP3 FPGA while achieving the lowest bill of materials cost. We will demonstrate a low latency variation SIPRI link implemented with the ECP3. This architecture is ideally suited for multi-hop remote radio head networks. The Lattice ECP3 has been built from the ground up to provide the lowest cost and power for any CERTES based FPGA in the industry. The ECP3 fabric is based on the industry standard LUT4 fabric with up to 7 megabits of embedded RAM, DSP slices with 320 18 by 18 multipliers, 800 megabit per second IOs with pre-engineered DDR1, 2, and 3 memory interfaces, 3 gigabit per second CERTES, and a wide range of PCS supported packet protocols like CIPRI, Serial Rapid IO, JESD 204, and Ethernet. Typical base stations today have a distributed topology where the near antenna logic or remote radio head is deployed remotely from the baseband processing card. This is enabled by a fiber link connecting the radio card with the baseband card and through serial protocols like CIPRI. Because several radio heads can be connected to the baseband unit, it is necessary to minimize latency variations so as to synchronize transmissions within the different radio heads. The ECP3 CERTES is uniquely designed to minimize latency variation that occurs at the FPGA to PCS clock domain boundary. Additionally, the IP allows the user to offset the latency variation that occurs in the CERTES word aligner. Orchestra is the lattice developed graphical user interface that is the control panel and visual window to observe CIPRI traffic and test results. On the bottom right hand side, the window captures the contents of the received CIPRI hyperframes. Here, by toggling the green control buttons, the user can turn on various options by sending constant IQ, CNM, or vendor specific data. The incoming data stream is constantly monitored and errors are reported here. The user can also force various errors, including Ethernet and HDLC CNM or a vendor-specific value. In our demo, we will force a vendor-specific value which can be clearly seen in the CIPRI hyperframe. The CIPRI delay status is a read-only register that shows total path delay. The value is the clock count multiplied by the clock period. During the demo, the value of this register will be constant within a plus or minus one variation. The small variation is due to changing clock data relationship after each CERTES reset. The word aligner offset records the bit placement of the word alignment. In a 10-bit word, the value can vary between 0 to 9. Lattice's CIPRI core has a word alignment offset built in. As we will see, this value will change at each CERTES reset, but the CIPRI delay status register will remain constant. In this setup, there are two cards, the REC card, which emulates the baseband unit, and the RE card, emulating the radio. The RE and REC cards are connected via SMA cables to each other. In a real base station environment, these two cards will be connected via SFP-based fiber links. The demo has the capability to demonstrate CIPRI traffic at 1.2, 2.4, and 3 gigabits per second. Today, we'll be showing traffic at 1.2 gigabits per second. We will now set up the appropriate registers so that the CERTES is internally configured in loopback mode. I will also switch on the continuous polling option to see a long data stream. In the orchestra application, we are receiving the contents of the hyperframe. The loopback demo allows us to check that the REC card is properly initiating and receiving traffic. If I inject HDLC or Ethernet frame errors on the CNM channel, the errors are tagged in the error counters. I will now inject a vendor specific value and the value appears up in the blue section of the hyperframe. This capability is essential for testing a CIPRI design. Now we will change the demo configuration to use the SMA connectors between the two cards and emulate an actual base station by sending data from the REC card to the RE card. This will show transfer of IQ data in a CIPRI hyperframe. We will also monitor the latency variation and look at the capabilities of the device and the IP core to minimize latency variation along the CIPRI path. In this demo, the RE card is controlled by a second laptop. Again, we will use Orchestra, but this time we configure the RE to receive data from the REC. We begin by downloading the bitstream to allow the RE to capture data from the REC. The CIPRI hyperframes are now being received error-free on the RE. 
We can inject HDLC and Ethernet errors as we did before and see them show up on the counters. Injecting a vendor specific value on the REC orchestra window will show up on the RE orchestra window. Now watch carefully as I reset the CERTES macro on the RE screen. The value on the word liner offset will vary. However, the CIPRI delay status is a constant value within plus or minus one of the original value. This shows that we have successfully offset the variation in latency that is inherent in the word liner circuitry. In this demo, we have emulated a complete REC to RE system by showing how CIPRI frames are successfully transmitted in a low latency variation environment. This shows the value of the low cost, low power ECP3 FPGA in providing a sophisticated base station interface solution without sacrificing features. The ECP3 also provides great programmable solutions for Ethernet, PCI Express, and Serial Rapid I.O. For more information, please go to the Lattice website at www.latticesemi.com ECP3.